Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to another tutorial for Sony Vegas Pro 10.0 by JM Media. Today we're going to be talking about rotating 3D text, how to create it, how to animate it, and all that good stuff. First off, let me show you, show you an example of what I mean. I'm going to open up a, a clip here, and I'm going to show you uh, what, what I'm really talking about. If you look here, I have rotating text right here, 3D text. It's a really nice effect, uh, so I, I really love using it. So let's go ahead and recreate this, or recreate something similar to it. Let's go ahead and open up our Sony Vegas program. Let's start by uh, right clicking, adding a video track, then go to media generators and insert some text. Drag and drop the text clip in the timeline. Change up your text. I don't know. I'll put JM Media on there. And I'll go ahead and go ahead and change the properties, make it blue or something like that. Let's enlarge the previous screen here so you guys see. Make it blue, go to the effects, draw an outline of white, let's say. Change that up like that. That looks nice. Feather it a little bit. Then I can exit out. Then what you want to go ahead and go and click on is the compositing mode, which is this green button over here. Click on that, then click on 3D Source Alpha. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and go to the top of the track properties box right here, where your same place where your compositing mode button is located. Click on the track motion button, which is right here. This will pop up. This will give you all of the X, Y, and Z axis or axi. <laughs> I don't know the plural for that, but anyway, it gives you all three of the dimensions, uh, three dimensional dimensional world. All right, so. Uh, it's a really useful part in Vegas. Um, it's really useful because I started using this program called Autodesk Maya, which is a really, really famous animation program. And if you, you know, know a little bit about three-dimensional world in animation, it's really useful. Um, so I love using it in Vegas, and it Vegas actually taught me a lot, and it made me understand Maya. A lot better so I recommend you guys try the 30-day trial of Maya it's really really fun alright so let's go ahead and start creating this animation uh, I'm gonna reset the box to its original position so right click in this empty space click on restore box restores it to, it, to its original spot let's go ahead and create a, a new keyframe so we can start our animation so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this timeline key here right to the end of the clip which is right here. Double click, make a new keyframe. And it also makes a keyframe on the main page of Vegas, as you can see. So I want to go ahead and go to rotation, click on the Y axis, and this is how many degrees you want it to turn. So let's say I want it to turn 500 degrees. It's going to keep rotating until it reaches the 500 degree level. Degree level, alright? Or 500 degree spot, however you, however you want to say that. Um, so that sounds about right. If we drag it, we can see how it's spinning here. And if we go to the beginning of the clip, there you go, it starts spinning like that. Really nice effect we got here. Really nice effect. And I can drag this keyframe all the way here, and it'll make the rotation even faster. See that? So it's really, really nice. Or I could drag it back here, make the rotation a lot s slower, as you can see. Okay. Really cool. So that's how you animate text. Um, what I do on my videos, I I do the same thing. I just don't make it rotate. I, I add a little effect on it. Like you could add lens flare effects. Uh, you can animate the lens flare. I'll talk about lens flare later. I'm not going to fit all that into one video. But I'm just going to animate it here. I'm just going to do this quickly. Just animating the angle of the lens flare. Okay. So I'm going to have a little lighting effect there, as you can see. You can barely see it, but it's still nice to have it. And for some of you who want some more effects, let's uh, maybe put on a glow or something like that. Let's see how that looks. And eh, not too great, but 
make him look better. So let's get rid of that glow. Um, red glow, let's see if that looks. Looks okay, right? Looks alright, we can animate all this stuff. But I'm not going to show you how to animate effects set. I'm going to show you that in a later tutorial. Uh, let's go to uh, maybe TV Simulator. That's the one I use a lot in my videos. And that looks really nice. You can see that right there. So that's how you animate rotating 3D text or create 3D text in Sony Vegas. I hope I've helped you out, guys. Um, please, if you have any questions, please comment, and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and hopefully I'll see you uh, again soon when my next tutorial comes out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.